often have you come across a loft HDB unit with a balcony? Not a lot of times, I'm sure, especially in a prime location like Dawson. Hi, my name is Kay, and today you are in for a treat. Let's go! Today, we are at Sky Terrace at Dawson, which is one of the newer projects in the Dawson area, with a lease of 99 years starting in 2016. This project is designed by award-winning SCDA architects who also designed the Singapore Art Museum, OUE Downtown and Intercontinental Singapore, just to name a few. There are a total of 758 units here, spread across 5 towers, up to 43 storeys. The 5 blocks are interconnected by a few sky gardens. The unit mix here consists of 3, 4, 5 bedrooms, as well as the 4 and 5 bedroom lofts. For this particular loft layout, there are only 39 such units in the entire development, which is only 5.1% of the whole project. Loft HDB units are a rare commodity in the market with only a handful of them around Singapore. The scarcity of these units ensure that they are always price resilient to future resale buyers. Location-wise, it's about a 10 minutes walk to Queenstown MRT. Buona Vista MRT is two stops away where you can transfer to the Circle Line. It is also three stops to Outram Park MRT where you can transfer to both the North East Line and the Thomson East Coast Line. We are also one stop away from Red Hill where Red Hill Market is. If you drive, we are about 10 minutes away from Orchard and 10 minutes away from IKEA Alexandra. Primary schools nearby include Queenstown Primary, Gan Eng Seng Primary and Alexandra Primary. Secondary schools nearby include Queenstown Secondary, Crescent Girls School, Bukit Merah Secondary and Queensway Secondary. For nature lovers, we are conveniently located right beside the Alexandra Canal, Linear Park and the Park Connector, where you can cycle or take a walk and immerse yourself in nature. this unit. Coming into the entrance, to my left, you can see that the owners have built some storage spaces over here as well as a shoe cabinet where you can put your shoes when you start your day or when you end work. The owners have also built this door that conceals the bomb shelter nicely. This whole concept actually blends in seamlessly to the bookshelves that the owners have tastefully renovated and built and they have also decked with a lot of their favourite books. I wonder what their favourite pastime is. The owners have also built a cosy reading corner over here so that you can relax and unwind. Coming into the living and dining area, you are immediately greeted by these floor-to-ceiling windows which encourage and allow so much natural lighting to come in. The ceiling height is at a towering 5.4 meters, which is more than twice the typical HDB ceiling height of 2.6 meters. This is why it makes the space look so huge and so spacious. The owners have combined the living and dining area very efficiently and as you can see here, their dining bench actually has some storage at the bottom. Alternatively, if you would like another layout, you could also push the sofa nearer towards the TV and have your dining space at the back so that you can enjoy your meals with a lovely open view. Now, one of the truly unique features of this HDB is this balcony. Look at the unblocked greenery view. I don't need to say more about how rare it is to find a HDB with a balcony and a view like this. Also, you don't have neighbours looking into your unit, so you have maximum privacy. Let's take a look at the floor plan. For this loft layout, we have a main bedroom and a common bedroom on the lower floor. We have the kitchen, a service yard, as well as two bathrooms, one in the master and one common. Moving on to the upper floor, we have one bedroom, which is the common bedroom. There is also a balcony which extends from the living and the dining room. The owners have also installed a built-in oven, an induction cooker, hood and hob, and this whole area now leads over to the yard space. This is where you do your laundry, and the yard area comes with a retractable clothing racks that comes from HDB, uh, as well as windows that you can open or close if you want to do your laundry outside. Welcome to the master room. This is the place where you'll be spending most of your time resting and it is a good thing that it's very sizable. So the owners have installed lots of cabinetry spaces, your cabinet over here and storage spaces at the top, including your bed frame which now fits a queen size bed. If you like, you can have a king size bed as well because the room is big enough. 
So the owners have also installed cold lights over here as well as a ceiling fan for a conducive good night's rest. So let's check out the master ensuite. The ensuite toilet here is also very spacious and well maintained. Now we come to the most interesting part of this house which is this loft room. So currently the owners are using this as a study room because they enjoy the privacy as well as the segregation between work and play. If you like, you can reconvert this whole area back into a bedroom or a kids playroom. I love that the owners have done up this bifold window so you have the flexibility of closing or opening it however you feel like. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you have enjoyed this home tour. My name is Kay and if you have any questions or if you want to view this lovely home, please feel free to give me a call. Thanks a lot!